Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about something that's as precious as gold. Water. It's a resource we often take for granted, yet it's fundamental to our survival. But did you know? There are simple ways we can conserve water right in our homes and gardens. From taking shorter showers to installing rain barrels, we'll be sharing 20 practical water-saving tips that can make a significant difference. So, are you ready to save water, save money and help the planet? Let's dive in. Tip number one, fix leaks immediately. You may not notice it, but a dripping tap can waste more water than you think. Imagine a water bottle filling up drop by drop. Yes, that much water is going down the drain. So the moment you notice a leak, get it fixed. It's an easy step towards saving water and it helps you cut down your water bills. Moving on to tip number two, consider using water saving appliances. These are not as fancy as they sound. We're talking about dishwashers and washing machines that are designed to use less water. They're efficient and they can help you save a significant amount of water in the long run. And now, tip number three, install a water meter. If you don't already have one, get it installed. It's a great way to keep track of your water usage. When you're aware of how much water you're using, you're more likely to use it wisely. Tip number four, take shorter showers. Yes, we love those long hot showers, but they use a lot of water. Try reducing your shower time by just a couple of minutes and you'll be surprised by how much water you save. Showers can use up to 17 liters of water per minute. By setting a timer, you can limit your showers to four or five minutes, significantly reducing your water usage. Next, tip number five, use a water butt in the garden. This is a great way to collect rainwater, which is a free resource and collecting it in a barrel can provide a handy supply for watering your plants. It's a win-win situation. You're saving water and your garden is thriving. It's nature's way of watering your garden without an extra penny spent on your water bill. Remember, every drop counts, so start implementing these tips today. Moving on to the sixth tip. Use a watering can for your plants. It's an old-fashioned method, but it's one of the most efficient ways to hydrate your plants. A watering can allows you to control the amount of water you use, ensuring that not a single drop is wasted. Our seventh tip is to avoid overwatering your plants. While it might be tempting to give your plants a good soak, it's often unnecessary. Most plants only require water when the top inch of soil is dry, so make sure to check the soil before you turn on the tap. Next up, it's time to rethink how we use our dishwashers. This machine is one of the biggest water consumers in our homes. The eighth tip is to use your dishwasher efficiently. Wait until you have a full load before starting a cycle, and don't rinse your dishes before loading them. Modern dishwashers are designed to handle the dirty work, so there's no need to pre-rinse. The ninth tip takes us to the bathroom. Consider installing a dual flush toilet. These toilets have two flush options, a half flush for liquid waste and a full flush for solid waste. This way you'll use less water each time you flush. On to tip number 10, use a pool cover. If you're lucky enough to have a swimming pool in your garden, saving water can be as easy as using a pool cover. Not only does it reduce evaporation, but it also keeps your pool clean, which means less frequent refilling and filtering. With these tips, you'll be saving water without even realizing it. Moving on to tip number 11, don't overfill the kettle. It's a small change, but it can make a big difference. By only boiling the amount of water you need, you save energy and water. So next time you fancy a cup of tea, remember, every drop counts. Tip number 12, use a broom, not a hose. It might be tempting to reach for the hose when your patio or driveway needs a clean, but using a broom instead can save an astonishing amount of water. It's a great way to get a bit of exercise too. Now for tip number 13, reuse grey water. Grey water is the fairly clean wastewater from baths, sinks, washing machines and other kitchen appliances. It's perfectly safe for watering plants and flushing toilets. So, rather than letting it go down the drain, why not put it to good use? And next, tip number 14, plant drought-resistant plants. They require less water and can withstand dry conditions, making them a perfect choice for your garden. They're not only practical, but they can also add a touch of beauty to your outdoor space. See, saving water can be as simple as choosing the right plants for your garden. Tip number 15, don't run the tap while brushing your teeth. It's a simple habit to change, but it can save up to eight gallons of water per day. That's nearly 3,000 gallons in a year saved by just turning off the tap. Well, a hose gun attachment offers a straightforward way to save water. 
With adjustable settings, users can control water flow during outdoor activities like gardening or car washing, preventing unnecessary wastage. Easily toggling between spray patterns and turning off the water flow when not needed can significantly reduce water consumption. This simple adjustment promotes a more sustainable and responsible approach to water use, contributing to environmental stewardship. Up next at number 17 is washing full loads of laundry. Half-filled machines use almost as much water as full ones, so it's best to wait until you have a full load to run your washing machine. Plus, it saves you time, and who doesn't love that? Tip number 18, install a low-flow shower head. This is a one-time change that can significantly reduce your water usage. Low-flow shower heads can use less than half the amount of water than a regular shower head. A win for you and a win for the environment. Now tip number 19, use a compost bin instead of a garbage disposal. Garbage disposals require a lot of water to function effectively. By composting, you're not only reducing your water usage, but also creating nutrient-rich soil for your plants. Lastly, opting to skip the car wash is a practical and eco-friendly way to contribute to water conservation. Traditional car washing methods can consume a substantial amount of water, and by choosing to forego them, individuals can help reduce their overall water footprint. Instead, allowing natural rainfall or using a waterless car cleaning solution can maintain a vehicle's cleanliness without the need for excessive water usage. This small change in behavior not only conserves a valuable resource, but also aligns with a more sustainable and environmentally conscious lifestyle. And there you have it, 20 easy ways to save water in your home and garden. So there we have it, 20 water-saving tips for your home and garden. Adopting these simple measures can play a pivotal role in conserving water and protecting our environment. Not only will you be doing your part for Mother Earth, but you'll also see a significant reduction in your water bills. It's a small step that makes a big difference. Remember, every drop counts. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more useful tips. Thank you for watching.